So, Joel, congratulations on being our tutor of the month. Thank you very Ta-da! much. I'm honoured. Yeah. <laughs> so, we've got a couple of questions for you. Uh, first one is, when did you discover your love for music? Love for music was when I was really young, probably about three, four, five, and my parents were playing in a band at the local church, and I was just obsessed with the drummer and the guitarist and was like, this is what I want to do. Yeah, that's such a lovely, wholesome answer. I love Thank it. You. <laughs> um, you are also a touring musician, a really good touring musician. You play some pretty incredible shows with some amazing people. Uh, is there a specific one that's close to your heart? Uh, yeah, the first one that really springs to mind uh, is that I was playing at a venue called Electric Brixton and I just remember walking out and seeing a sea of heads and it was like looking at a rugby scrum and just being (laughs) like, oh my days, I can't believe all these people are just like looking at us on stage right now. So that was a great memory. It's such a buzz, isn't it? Performing live. It's it's a huge adrenaline rush. Okay, what advice would you give to someone who's interested in picking up the drums? I would say go for it. Everything you say or when you walk, everything is a rhythm. So being able to apply that to drums is really satisfying. And it's also really easy to sound good in the early days of being a drummer. It gets harder, but when you want to start, you can learn a beat and then play many songs on the radio. So I would say just practice and just do what you love when you're playing that's really good advice actually because something like strings can be quite hard and be quite challenging when you're first starting because you have to learn tuning yeah as well but something like drums or piano it's it's sort of there for you you can hit a drum you can play a chord and it sounds good and that's really interesting what you're saying about everything has a rhythm to it so when i studied percussion at trinity Mm. uh, my drum teacher used to tell me to practice counting my bars of four as i was walking down the street i get that all the time right yeah i've done that (laughs) i've spent many times just walking yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Count is a four. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, and last question. What are you listening to these days? If I'm honest, I'm not listening to a lot of music. Um, I'm really listening to a lot of podcasts at the moment. Nice. One that I've been enjoying that I find quite motivating and it make, and I feel like I gain some information. There's, an in, there's a podcast called Diary of a CEO um, by a guy called Stephen Bartlett, who's a bit of a young entrepreneur. And he interviews really, really, um, uh, what's the word? Interesting people, <laughs> uh, regardless if you like them or not. Um, there's some really, really good interviews. So that's what I'm listening to. Nice. Uh, music wise, not as much as, as I should be. Um, but if there's a record to check out, I would say Armored Jamal live at the Pershing. Nice, nice, nice. Do you know what? I actually discovered a new artist on Twitter this week Go myself on. called VV Brown. Okay. Yeah, it's amazing, really like multi cross genre person. Right. It's always really exciting when you discover someone who is just doing something that like breaks the mold that isn't yeah. one genre, one thing, but sort of across the genres. It's okay. always exciting to keep it fresh, isn't it? After this, I'll write it down. Yeah. I'll listen on my All right. <laughs> nice one. Thanks, Joel. Thank well so done much. for being our tutor of the month. Thank Yay. You. I'm touched. <laughs>